Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Thank you for being here. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw, though I'm on a little bit of a sabbatical for a few weeks, and I've asked one of my friends to fill in for the monthly horoscopes this month. I hope that you will welcome them. Of course, superstar horoscopes were pre-recorded, and you can go to NadiaShawSuperstars.com for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. You will have access to all signs each and every week. Extended horoscopes are available there. And of course, we have some incredible events coming up at Synchronicity University. Programs happening right now, but also choose your tuition rate as low as just $5 a class for classes that are coming up and starting in November. I hope that you'll join us. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, superstars, fabulous friends and fans of my dear friend Nadia Shah. I am Yuridia Robles and I am here to share with you what is in store for Capricorns this month of September. Let's begin. Dear Capricorns, I am very happy to announce to you the entrance of the Sun in Virgo and its ruling planet as well in Virgo because it will establish an, a, a harmonious conversation with you, helping you to organize your presentation, to organize your deeper thinking, be more professional and in your ideas. This means that you can do wonderful investigations. Virgo is already able and capable of investigating and you have it in the ninth house so you are a very serious and conscientious about your studies, about the knowledge, about universities, the courts of law. And with Mercury retrograding there, meaning that you can enhance those capabilities of analysis, of investigations, and thinking that you can even find or give a corpus, you give, you can establish these new ideas in a professional manner. On the 10th of the month, we have a full moon in Pisces and it falls in your third house. This will be played out with your siblings, with your neighbors, with your cousins. They will be rather romantic or even naive or even in a fantasy world. This is not for you to criticize. These points of view are important. So you understand that the place of imagination, fantasy and romanticism and even idealism have a place in the mind. So you can study and investigate very serious things. But if you add the element of fantasy or imagination, you can even enhance what you write, what you create, what you teach at the university. Therefore, you can enhance both worlds with this full moon. On the 16th, there will be a trine between the sun in Virgo and Uranus in Taurus in the fifth house. So you will maybe have a surprise coming from your children, from your own creation, or even from a sweetheart that appears to bring to you a renewed sense of excitement. And you will find it most refreshing, most endearing. Of course, it has the challenge of asking you to be more open to the values, to the creations of your children, of your sweethearts, of your own creation that is coming from the new. But the challenge is that you have a very squared, a very organized frame of mind that can find difficult to integrate what is new in this place, in this time. So be open to the new because it's here to stay. Saturn will move from the sign of Aquarius soon, which is an easier placement for you. So be open to the new because it's here, it's here to stay. You are intelligent enough and also have lived these last years through a big transformation and knows that being open to the new is what is the future. So I'm sure you will understand and make a compromise 
with your children especially to understand what is the place of structure and what is the place of the new so you can both grow and develop comfortable on the 25th we will have a new moon the new moon is already in libra the sun will be there as well and opposing jupiter in aries it is in your mid heaven so you have to be prepared to inspire with what you know most of the month you will be studying a lot and investigating by the middle of the next month you will be prepared to share with your professional area and inspire them to a higher goal this is because venus will be heading towards the sun in the superior conjunction meaning that is going to leave us with an aspiration an ideal aspiration to be more creative to achieve the extraordinary we can do it you can do it so from the new moon onwards you will be able to understand and share this to others as for the transit of mars in gemini ruling this jupiter in a harmonious conversation between your house and your work you will find the support to go towards this professional goal that is to be developed but it will be sustained by your deep thinking and investigation that you make during the mercury retrograde whereas the transit of saturn in gemini will remain there for seven months so you will be able to work with a lot of people inspiring them with this grand goal that you have devised that you are able to give form and transmit to others in matters of the heart for those looking for a love uranus is bringing you as i already mentioned a little bit a personality that is quite unexpected quite different from you which you will find difficult to integrate to your frame of mind but it, at the same time it will be very interesting for you and it will inspire you to achieve more to study more to learn from other places and other uh, countries and other ways of thinking and other ideologies and other political positions so it will be very interesting i'm sure you will enjoy it as for those in established bond you have this month to be as always careful and be very attentive to their needs if you want to, any relationship but especially your significant other or even your business associates you have to be very much very sensitive to what they are feeling they are very attentive to nuances in feelings so you have to be reciprocal in that sense the new moon will bring a challenge in that way for the relationships because it's not the same to have a grand idea a grand ideal or goal for the masses than for your own significant other what i love about this month for you capricorn is the energy you will find at home the inspiration to work and organize like you are very capable of a lot of people and present to them a magnificent goal for all to attain you can lead as always to the top have a great month enjoy welcome to the exciting rebirth of superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just three dollars a month at superstar you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes class passes for synchronicity university consultations with me and so much more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there